Good morning and welcome back to the book of Malachi. This is a really interesting book. It's got some good insight for us today and, and many of the things here we apply to where we live right there at the end of days. There's a lot of things to apply. Let's, let's read Malachi chapter 2 and verses 15 and 16 this morning. Here's what it says. But did he not make them one, having a remnant of the Spirit? And why one? He seeks godly offspring, therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously with the wife of his youth. For the Lord God of Israel says that he hates divorce, for it covers one's garment with violence, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit that you do not deal treacherously. So we're continuing each morning and we're going verse by verse through. And we talked about the, the general issue of spiritual apostasy among the priesthood and among believers and how we need to come up higher from that. We saw yesterday that uh, many times people were coming and weeping right there before the altar, making a big show for God, and yet they were being unfaithful to their family, maybe unfaithful to their spouse, the wife of their youth, as he says here. So he continues with that thought here, and that's why we have it again this morning. Didn't he make them one and let none deal treacherously with the wife of his youth? We have a flippant view of marriage in our day, don't we? Isn't it true? And this is where we have a statement here in verse 16. God, God doesn't have an indifferent view toward divorce. God hates divorce. Many times love and hate in the Bible are, are sort of overwrought expressions. They're kind of, kind of extreme views to make a contrast. Not here. God truly with, with a divine bitterness, with a divine rage, God truly hates divorce. Now, I know that a lot of the people listening to me, because all of our families have been touched by divorce, a lot of us have struggled in our marriages. Very few marriages turned out the way, the beautiful ways we sort of had imagined beforehand. And it's, it's a fight to make a good marriage in these days. God will help us. But many of us have even failed so that our, we have marriages that have already dissolved. And if your heart's in the right place today, God knows all about it. God knows how to forgive you. You still have damage the family would still have enormous damage, but God can take us from wherever we are and he can bring healing. So we're not here trying to discourage anybody, uh, but we do, if, you're, if you are in a marriage right now, do everything you can to save it. Do everything you can. Divorce covers one's garments with violence. It's, it's extremely destructive. And of course, the husband and wife imagery is an image in the Bible that God uses to represent the believer and God. Uh, and so it's a symbol of this tremendous love and unity. So we don't want to damage that symbol. So we want to follow the counsel of verse 16 that says, Take heed, take heed that you don't deal treacherously, not with the wife of your youth and not with the God of your salvation. Friend, God will help us. God will help your marriage. Pray for it. Pray for your spouse. Even if you don't feel like praying for your spouse, pray for your spouse. Pray for your own heart. Don't give up. Don't give up. Be adamant to redeem and save rather than to destroy. May God be our helper. Let's pray. Father in heaven, many, many, many of us have had failures, disasters in our marriages. Oh, Lord, we look to you. Strengthen us to be right. Help us, even if we've lost even the sense of love, help us to seek to be faithful, and may you help us and restore that. Even if our spouse becomes an unbeliever, even if our spouse is not ever coming back, it seems, to a situation of love for us, help us to still be faithful to them because being faithful to them is being faithful to you. Lord, when we were married, there was a covenant. It was between myself, my spouse, and my Lord. And so there's a three-way covenant. Divorce rips that covenant all three ways. Lord, we know you hate divorce. Strengthen our marriages Give us of your spirit. Help us to come up higher. Now, Lord, hear our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Very sticky message today, but God will be your helper. God be with you.